So it looks like Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is getting quite a bit of hate right now on Steam, and it's because it's doing what essentially every Call of Duty does. Every time a Call of Duty comes out, the servers are always messed up, things are always broken, things don't work. But the main thing that a lot of people are complaining about, and I gotta tell you, it's really crappy that they're doing stuff like this, is that the single-player campaign will shut down on you if the servers are, if something was happening with the servers, because apparently you have to always be online even to play the single player content, which is a growing problem in the gaming industry right now. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I was watching a ton of clips all over Twitter and even some on YouTube from people that were losing their minds because the servers were having so many issues that they were trying to play the single player campaign to avoid the multiplayer issues and they were still getting disconnected anyway because you have to be online in order for you to even play the single player campaign. It's really, really messed up. So let's get into this article, guys, from The Gamer. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Now, again, guys, I want to reiterate every single Call of Duty that I've ever purchased on day one, day two, whatever, always has a bunch of issues. This is a problem that we are experiencing in the gaming industry, and it is because people keep buying these games on day one, knowing they're going to be broken. And at the very least, if you are going to buy it on day one, maybe you're a streamer or whatever the case may be, if you're going to buy it on day one, don't bitch about the issues then because those issues are going to constantly still be there so long as the day one support is still there and as strong as it is. Obviously, there was a lot of hype for Black Ops 6. Black Ops, I feel like, is a lot more love than Modern Warfare, at least from a fan standpoint. At least that's how I see it anyway. Maybe I'm wrong, but I see whenever Black Ops comes out, I see people talking about it like crazy, much more than Modern Warfare. Maybe that's because of zombies, but who really knows? So it says we got some key takeaways. Not everyone is happy with Black Ops 6, with the game day debuting to mixed reviews on Steam. Players have taken issues with the reliance on Call of Duty uh, headquarters, as well as the game's always online requirement for the campaign, which for me, if I'm going to complain about anything, it's going to be that, right? I'm going to complain about the fact that you have to be online to play the campaign of Call of Duty. That is absolutely nonsense. Nonsense. And they're doing that, obviously, for piracy reasons and whatnot, but it is ridiculous. There surely must be another way. Uh, players, uh, it remains to be seen if any patches will address the immediate concerns though fans are certainly not pleased at this moment again i'm hearing all these stories about disconnects online these servers having big issues all kinds of nonsense uh call of duty black ops 6 is officially out and while millions of gamers including a projected 4 million due to the game's date and date to, uh day and date release on game pass are enjoying the first person shooter not everyone is happy more specifically steam users because uh while heaps of players are solving the easter eggs and zombies earning gold weapon camos or jumping off the diving board in multiplayer Things aren't nearly as peachy as they seem. Just 24 hours after the game's worldwide launch, Black Ops 6 debuted to mixed reviews on Steam. Well, that's because Steam players don't fuck around, right? PC players do not mess around, and they're going to tell you exactly what the issues are with the game, especially when it comes to bugginess, lag, server issues, things like that that console gamers kind of just take on the chin. Yeah, they're not going to have that when it comes to PC gamers. Uh, taking a Black Ops 6 official Steam page, many gamers have taken umbrage with several key issues, including the reliance on Call of Duty HQ. The launcher has served as Call of Duty's official go-to for recent titles, with each new title simply being added to the larger package. This game desperately needs its own launcher, and the UI is not exactly well implemented, one review read in part. Considering you spend so much time between games, navigating menus, you would think they at least try to make them somewhat intuitive. Now, the Call of Duty headquarter thing uh, is not a huge, huge deal to me, but I can understand the frustration of navigating all the menus, because it is ridiculous the amount of menus that you have to go through in order to even get to the multiplayer aspect of the game, which is what everyone's trying to play anyway, right? Like single player campaign, pretty straightforward, but multiplayer, you got to go through like a million windows before you finally get to the part that you want to get to. Uh, then again, it says that the UI was updated ahead of launch, though it appears that it still isn't enough. Other gamers have reported crashes when trying to launch Black Ops 6. Other users have uh, also having issues playing the game's campaign, which was reported to be lengthier than that of Black Ops Cold War. In the lead up to Black Black Ops 6 launch, it was revealed that the campaign would have an always online requirement in order to facilitate texture streaming. That requirement seems to be backfired.
tiring for some users. I don't think that's the only reason, to be honest with you. I mean, they could say that, but I genuinely don't believe that's the only reason. I think there's other facets of it that they're trying to hold on to by making it online only. But at the end of the day, if you're going to have your single player campaign be online only, not only is that absolutely ridiculous, but you need to make sure you have a absolutely perfect launch or as close to a perfect launch as possible because the single player players should not be affected by the nonsense that's happening in multiplayer that is ridiculous that should not be a thing and it continues to be a thing diablo 4 same exact thing like these this online only nonsense is insane and it needs to stop because it's going to turn off people that are trying to partake in the single player aspect of the game if they have to be logged on and dealing with server issues the entire time they're playing and then let's say they're playing and they crash they lose save progress all of that is just so much headaches that can be avoided by simply just having single player be single player it says i'm only 25 minutes into the campaign and i've been disconnected three times so far one user revealed adding that they will be seeking a refund instead probably a smart thing right now you know don't buy these games day one if you know there's going to be problems which they always have Elsewhere, bugs have also been reported, which have impacted the playing experience. And while Steam users' reviews aren't the be-all, end-all of things, they do represent a portion of the gaming world's feelings. So far, it seems like Black Ops 6, at least on Steam, is a half-baked experience in need of some patchwork. It probably is, right? And that's usually the case when it comes to these games. They are half-baked. They are not. They, they need a little more time to cook. But the simple fact is, they got to get them out almost yearly, which is the reason why they don't get the time to cook like they usually used to back in the day these games are just too damn frequent that's the problem they're too damn frequent and because they're too damn frequent these games end up being released extremely buggy and while they have been able to do phenomenal process uh i'm sorry phenomenal progress in a small amount of time at the end of the day you need more time to cook when you have all of these issues just another three months in development would have been enough to solve all these issues and you could have still released it on holiday you know what i mean but they didn't want to do that the investors they want to make sure the investors feel as happy and go lucky as possible so at the end of the day if you're buying this game just let it be known if you're buying call of duty black ops 6 you need to understand that you are going to have issues with this servers you're going to have issues even with single player you're going to have issues in general all around and this is why i advocate for transparency right this is why i advocate for this stuff because without youtubers giving that level of transparency and without even some you know games journalists giving that level of transparency you're never going to know just how bad of a game you're actually buying into and now that we are aware like hey you know this game is actually extremely buggy it's extremely it's extremely in a bad state right now like don't don't go buy this yet just wait until they see if they fix it and then go buy it if you want to without that transparency gamers will never have those answers and that is why transparency is the number one thing that we are all fighting for in this gamergate 2.0 nonsense so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate if you get to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out